What's going on guys? It's Coach Steven with 15 points of tennis. And it's exactly one year ago I put out the online accelerator program which was my beta product. This year 2019 I'm going to be upgrading that to the 15 points mastery 2.0. And in this video we're going to give you a whole preview into that exclusive content. balance you can't use your legs if I'm like like this you can't actually push what starts a whole kinetic chain is to be able to push up with the legs and explode same with the serve if I'm like serving off balance here I, I can't push it's going to completely destabilize my body because that's the important thing for so for stabilization then if you're off balance we talk about bad balance what what starts to tense up to ha have to counterbalance my body what tenses up? All my muscles start to get tense. And if your muscles are tense, you can't generate speed or strength. Again, balance is the only time, and when you have good posture, again, I'm going to repeat this because this is super important. Ba when you're balanced, it's the only time your body is both relaxed and strong at the same time. When you're relaxed, you can get a lot more speed, okay? Right here, that's why you watch Federer. He, he has this beautiful posture. Okay, when he's serving, you don't see his Federer's chest ever moving around. Now, your chest, remember, you're, you can move this back and forth, but you, you can't break your posture. So you see Nadal tilt back, when you see Nadal hit, he, he, he tilts back like this. See, I'm tilted back, but my chest relative to my stomach doesn't change. He's not pulling his chest up. Again, so you, or you can bend forward, but see how I'm bending at the hips? So if I were to pick something up from the ground, I'm going to bend my knees and, and my hips, I'm not going to bend my back, okay? This would throw me off. This would throw me off balance. So Federer, he maintains that beautiful posture, even if he's playing tough defense. You see, like this, he maintains this posture at all times, even if he misses. He's uncompromising to break that posture. Hold. And one of the things I like to do is when you hit either forehands or your serves, especially serves, look at that stick on the left leg and hold because you want to balance a split second before you recover. And same thing, again, I'm going to freeze it right there. I have to balance right, if I'm off balance right there, I'm not going to recover well, but I am fairly balanced, so I recover decently well. Now I'm playing defense, so I have to find my center point really quickly. So this is all dynamic balance that I'm talking about here. And again, stick that landing. If the ball were to come back, I need to be ready. Another coordination drill to add on to what we did with the feet. Now we're going to the upper body and the hands. So this one I like to do, is, it's a visualization drill, okay? Now, whenever someone hits the ball off their racket, how do you, in terms of tracking the ball, how do you know, how do I know to position myself right there or, or right here or to take, to take a hop step up or take a set of small steps again, right, to reposition myself? Well, that's all tracking with my eyes. And I've played enough tennis to know, obviously every day is different, the conditions are different, some balls are dead, some balls are not. I played enough tennis to know when, right, exactly when the ball is struck, my brain draws an image for where that ball is struck. It draws an image in the air, all right, that I know where to sp how, how to space myself. Okay, my brain makes that mental image. Same thing with, you know, with any single sport. If you throw a behind the back pass in basketball, yeah, you have to visualize that happening, but the brain does it in a split second. So we're going to do something called the visualization drill where I, I toss the ball up with one hand like this and I like, like this and I catch it behind my back. All right. Toss again. Oh, I missed it right there. Okay. Like that. That's, that's one. Oh, so I missed it right there. Again, my brain, I have to envision where the ball is. Okay. I can't see it. I have to visualize it. There we go. Two. Oh, missed that one right there. Three, let's see, four, ah, oh, five, okay. And let's see, again, do it on both hands. That's a really good one for your tracking. Identify target, lock on, and destroy. All right, now guys, last part we're gonna add to the strength routine. Okay, this is a very simple strength routine, something you can do at home, you can do on the court by yourself, anywhere, anytime, okay? 
we're going to do some planks and core. And why is core strength so important? All the videos I talk about, and you'll hear a lot of coaches say, St keep your head still. Okay, keep your body still. All right, because I know another video we talked about, okay, what happens at contact, per se, when I move, when, if my core is moving. When you shake the trunk of a tree, what happens to the branches, all right? The branches go everywhere, not just a little bit. If this moves two inches, how far does this move, okay? Because this is further from the center, the axis of rotation, if this moves two inches, this will move four inches, this will move five inches, six inches. So if, if you can't keep your body still and straight when you hit the ball, you can't aim, okay? Because you have two variables moving at once instead of, again, just that hand firing at contact right here. See how quiet this is right here versus this? It's very hard for me to aim as my core is moving. So, you know, Dominic team, he talks about, I mean, this goes for all the pros. He does an excessive amount of core strength. Core and legs, core and legs. Because the, the goal, the whole purpose of your core strength is to keep your body still at contact, okay? And, and still and stabilized. So here's where strength comes into play. He's gonna overrun this next shot and get too close and not hit with the greatest posture. But because there's enough strength right there, he can get away with controlling and stabilizing his body. Again, the core's job is to keep the body stable through contact. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this preview of the 15 Points Mastery 2.0. I'll put the link in the description below for more information on the 15 Points Mastery. Now, if you're new to the channel, I suggest you just stick with the free stuff. I have a decent amount of content on the channel already. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the members area because we have over a dozen videos coming out even in the next few months. I am super stoked. And I'm also going out on a limb here because I'm highly confident that your tennis is going to take a leap forward with this program. If you're not getting the results, I'm not doing my job as a coach. If I'm not doing my job as a tennis coach, that's why the risk is all on me. All right, so click that link below for more information in the description and we'll see you soon.